Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and today we're going to talk to you about how to start your own homing pigeon coop. So I'm going to do a quick walk through here of our coop. Overall dimensions are six foot wide, uh, seven foot in the front, six in the back to have a slope for the roof, and then 24 feet long. This gives us plenty of room for all of the pigeons. We actually have this divided in half so that one half is what we would call kill pigeons or birds that work shooting and the other half here is our homing pigeons. Now a couple different things that your homing pigeon coop will need is a door to get the pigeons back into the coop allowing them to home. Ours acts as a platform, some type of platform that for them to land on is very important and it makes homing easier as well as ours closes right up to be able to latch in the evenings to keep out owls and other predators. Now our coop is a three-sided lean-to structured building with an open front. We covered that front with one inch chicken wire that is polycoated. This helps it to last a little bit longer, be a little more durable. Now for the most part, um, you're going to have predators that are going to dig in or try and go in through your recall door. We close that up at night to prevent that, as well as we do have the same wire on the floor, the dirt floor of this structure. So that's helped a lot. The only other predators that you really have to deal with when you have birds are snakes. They come in to get eggs as well as kill babies. And we have picked up some snake band stuff from the tractor supply store. That's working really well. On our coop, we used a screen door. The screen door didn't hold up the greatest, so I will be replacing that at some point in time, but the extra boards have been working thus far. Inside our coop, we have nesting boxes. These nesting boxes are made out of five gallon buckets. Put the lids on them and cut a hole in the lid. Providing nesting materials is a good idea. Most of the pigeons that we have don't use the nesting materials that we give them, but they are still there if they want to, like this bird used a few for its baby pigeons. So structure wise, the size of your building really depends on how many birds you want to have. Um, we have quite a few birds, so we have a pretty good area for them. Our good rule of thumb is about one square foot per bird, one to two, kind of depending on where you look. Um, we try and discourage birds nesting on the ground, but once they've done that, we usually typically leave them be. Now, the last thing that we do get questions about is, now that I have a building and it's ready to go, how do I get these pigeons to home? The questions can be answered kind of with a question. How far do you want to home the birds? Now, if you want to home your birds a few hundred yards, you can pick up feral pigeons or barn pigeons from anywhere you can find them. Pigeons will home. All you need to do is allow them to live in there with their grit, food, and water. Once they start nesting, usually they will home quite well. You probably lose a few, but for the most part, you'll have a pretty good flock started that way. Now, if you're looking at 20, 30, or 40 miles, maybe even more, you're gonna want some probably better quality homing stock. We would recommend looking for quality homers, picking those up, and typically, you either need unflown squeakers, or if you get mature homers like that, you're gonna need them to be kept up a lot longer just because of their better instincts to naturally home to where they were at before. This is some of the basics on the type of building, things your building needs, as well as how to get started with your own homers. If you have questions, concerns, issues, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. We will get back to you and stay tuned for our next videos. Thanks.